Hey guys, so we're introducing Two Minute Tuesday here at McCormick's and it's gonna be short little clips for you that'll give you tips and tricks and insider insides to what to do for the color guard, the marching band world, and what you guys need to know that maybe you don't know where to find that information elsewhere. So my name is Amy and we're here at McCormick's and today we're gonna to talk about weighting our flagpole. So many times our students get a flagpole and it's just the pole and we need to get weights in it, but we don't know how to do it. So we're gonna talk you through how we do it and hopefully this will guide you along to getting started with using your practice flag. So the first thing you need is weights. Uh, we use a three inch and a four inch carriage bolt that we sell here at McCormick's. And I put a four inch on top with my silk and a three inch on the bottom where the silk is not attached. The first thing that you need to do is tape your carriage weight because if you don't, it's gonna rattle in the pole. So you can see here that we've taped the bottom and I'll talk you through that here. And we take our vinyl tape and just start wrapping that around the bottom. And again, that's gonna create a barrier for the metal so it's not clanking in the aluminum pole. And you just wanna go enough that it's gonna create a different thickness and that the tape is gonna hit the pole and not your weight. So once that's done, you're gonna have this end that's not gonna clank. Next, you wanna make sure that you have your rubber caps. These are great, because they're not gonna crack like the plastic ones that we're used to using so many years ago. And from there, it's really simple, guys. You're gonna take your weight and slide it into the bottom of the pole in, and you can either tape your weight on. Sometimes, for safety, I will do that, and I'll do a cross hatch on top. So, over and over again. And that just keeps it in there so it's not gonna fly out on you. From there, you're gonna slide your rubber cap on and they're snug. So you might have to give it a little tap on the ground to get that in. And then once that's on, the last thing that you're gonna wanna do is tape your cap on. And I do one time around on the bottom and that's gonna secure that in the bottom. So again, on the other side, you repeat the process. So slide it in and do your cross hatch on top. Slide my rubber cap on. Tap that on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tape that cap on one more time, just to make sure it doesn't fly off. Now, when it's all said and done, I have a weighted pole. A lot of times students don't understand why we weight our poles, and you really wanna weight it so that it, it will spin a little bit quicker in the air. That's gonna help the rotations happen. If you don't have a weight in, that's when you see flags kind of go dead in the air. So again, getting the weights in is gonna make it easier for your students. You're gonna have an easier time tossing and life will just be better all around. So if you guys have any questions or need anything else, feel free to comment below on the video and we'll definitely get back with you or feel free to give us a call, 1-800-323-5201 and we can talk you through all of this for you. Thanks guys.